Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The time has come for the big unboxing to be done. I feel like I've been promising you within the last few videos, like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> we're doing it today. I have not opened it since I've had it, and it's been there for a good few weeks. So, we're finally doing it, guys. <laughs> Just a quick disclaimer before I open this bad boy up. This will be the last unboxing that I will be doing for quite some time because I need to recuperate, okay? Money doesn't grow on trees, this is real life. No more big purchases for a long, long, very long time. For a good few months at least. And then next thing you know, I'm buying something else. Before we get into things, if you could hit the like button because as always it helps me out loads. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Without further ado, let's open this box. I don't even know what's in here. There could be like, a Birkin, oh my gosh, imagine if they sent me a Birkin by mistake. That would be the best mistake ever. <laughs> Let me take it out, and ah, oh, here we go. Over here we have, <gasps> look at it, look at it, look at it. <gasps> the Hermes grooming bag, oh my gosh. Okay, so quick story with this, right? I saw this back in November. And when I saw it, I straight away, I was like, oh my gosh, could this be the perfect tote for me? Because they didn't have this bag in stock and it's quite, I think it, it sells out quite quickly. Um, I had messaged my Hermes fairy and I was like, could I, could I get this bag? And she said, she'll put me down on the list. As soon as it comes in, then she'll let me know. That was all the way back in November. I only got this in February, I think it was. We're in April now, so yeah, I've had it for a little while. The first time that I actually got to see it in person was when I was picking up my special order bag. But during that time, Chris was there, so I didn't have like the time to really sit there and analyze the bag. I, I tried it on, I looked at it, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> And then that was it. And within that time period, I had already, it had come into store and I had placed the order to get it. So it was coming literally a couple of days after that I got my special order. So yeah, I've actually been needing a tote bag for, for quite a while, but because of the way that I am, too sensible, <laughs> I've always been put off by other totes that are on the market. Me being a germaphobe, I have a big issue with putting my bags on the floor and them not being very practical in the sense that you'll see as I get into the video just how practical this bag is. Like it's it's the perfect tote bag. Let me <clears throat> start unpacking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just the other day I was like, I need to get more of this bubble stuff for my bags because my bag's bubbles have popped and there we go. This is part of the equestrian line, which is why it has this branding on it. They use this this branding, the Hermes Celia Paris. So when you go into the Hermes website to, let's say, look for this bag, it won't be under the normal section that you would probably look for your handbags in. It would be in the equestrian section of the website. No, I don't have any horses. As an equestrian person, imagining I was one, you would probably put your brushes in here, you could put your boots, your helmet, anything that's dirty would probably go into this pouch here. I don't know what you put in the side pockets, maybe some carrots. <laughs> know what you need as an equestrian and what makes this bag amazing is the fact that this pouch is removable so when you put all your dirty stuff you can take it out and put it in the washing the whole bag itself is actually water resistant which in England where nine times out of ten it's probably raining I don't have to worry or stress about the fact that this is going to get wet there are two options on the website you get this version which is the full canvas version or a wool version. Now the wool version, I did like the color, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the color, I was like, ooh, gray would go really, really well and fit seamlessly into my wardrobe. But then, it's the fact that it's wool that put me off. It looks beautiful, but I don't know how wool would wear over time. And because it rains, wool, water, ah, not a good combination. It has multiple pockets at the back, front, sides. And then on the inside, you have some more pockets two on the side and then a zip 
right in the middle, right over there. So you've got a lot of space. This costs 1,470 pounds. The wool one is 120 pounds more expensive than this one. I do love the contrast between the orange and the blue, well, the navy, sorry. Um, and then you've got this lovely brown, the lovely brown handles with a slight trimming on the front and back of the bag. In here we have a little pouch, which I'm assuming is, yes, the strap. Now this has to be one of the biggest features that made me fall in love with this bag like so, so much. When I saw it all the way back in November, I was like, okay, <laughs> I found my tote bag. I found the one because I've always avoided totes for the pure fact that whenever you do buy a tote bag, they never tend to have feet on the bottoms, which means when you put them on the floor, they're getting dirty and all that good stuff is attaching itself onto the bag. And even more so if you have a light colored bag, that's just bad, bad, bad. This, because it has a strap, I can actually put it at the back of my chair, which you have no idea how handy that is for me because uh, <laughs> I don't have to worry about germs getting onto my bag because it's hanging at the back of my chair. So I love, love, love that about this bag so, so much. On the inside, it's just empty. Like so, there aren't any pockets. You have pop buttons actually on the side, which I will show you this again, another amazing, great feature about the bag. We'll get into it in a minute. You've got leather trimmings for the um, clasp attachments and so on and so forth. So you have leather trimming on the side here. At the moment, it looks like so. You would say more laid back, chilled, casual, right? Watch what happens when I put the buttons together. And this is actually the way that it was shown on the website. So if you go onto the website and look for this bag, this is how it's shown in the pictures. Voila, you have this beautifully structured bag, which, let me move closer to you guys. <laughs> it's, it's, it just gives a completely different vibe to the bag. From a relaxed kind of look, you've got a more structured, smarter, I would say, smarter looking bag, as opposed to when it's out full open. So I love, love, love that feature of the bag. The pockets on the side, look, they go all the way to the bottom. My fingers are down here. Front pocket as well, same thing, all the way to the bottom, so you don't have to worry about things falling out because they're not going anywhere once they're in here. If you are worried about security on the top, and about anything that's on the inside here, you can close the pouch with the strings and that makes it more secure and it just sits inside your bag like that. You've also got the Hermes quality and craftsmanship because they use the saddle stitch to make the bag. So if any of the stitches do pop, you don't have to worry about any of the others. So it's gonna be one of those bags that you would use for years. And I mean, considering that people use this for horses, it was made to last a very long time. It's not heavy either, which I don't know if that's just cause I'm super duper strong or <laughs> because it genuinely isn't heavy, but it's not heavy. I've turned into that person. <laughs> that buys a bag just so that she can take her bags with on holiday. But here's my bag in 25. And when I travel, the one place that I do not trust my bags in is the airport and me leaving them in a suitcase or anything like that. So, we just pop them in there and there you go. She's good to go, sitting right next to me. I've got space for another bag. You know, I could put my mini Kelly in there or another bag if I wanted to. And so she's one reason why I got her. Another is for my kids swimming. Whenever I take them swimming or anything like that, I take one big, I have a tote, like a really, really old one from Dune, leather one, which is like, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's years and years and years old. And I've always used that, but everything is kind of just chucked into the bag because it's just a tote, it's, it's got no compartments or anything like that. So I wanted something with compartments and obviously when I saw this I was like, yes, I need this bag in my life. And now I have you in my life, you're so perfect. I am five foot four and the strap fits me perfectly. It, it's not uncomfortable, um, it's not adjustable, which some would say is an issue, but what I do like is the fact that you can actually change the strap, so you're not you're not limited. You can take the strap off and put your own strap if you really want to. And let me just see if this um, goes cross-body. Because I tried it on my shoulder. Oh yes, it does. <gasps> Guys, it fits cross-body. 
and it's comfortable too. Let's do this up and see what it looks like. Look at that, it just changed the shape of the bag. It just makes it look smarter. And that's what it looks like. So I can wear it crossbody as well. It's not long, so long that I can't wear it crossbody. The handles don't irritate you because they're soft canvassy material. So they're just literally like there. You don't really feel them there. As I said, I am five foot four. I'm a little shorty. <laughs> and then on the shoulder, that's what it looks like, and that's where it sits. Ah, look at this! <laughs> it fits on your shoulder as well. Oh, come on, all right? Versatility to its finest. I mean, it literally fits on my shoulder with the top handles as well, which is amazing. <gasps> and I don't particularly like, I'm quite athletic built, and I'm more on the bigger athletically built side. So for me to get a bag all the way to my shoulder, is not an easy task and it's comfortable it's not like it's tight or anything like that it feels comfortable right over there so <gasps> you can't tell me you can't use this as a casual day-to-day -day bag I don't think there's a more perfect tote bag on the market I love it <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps I'm getting a lot a lot a lot of goosebumps I'm sorry right for the price of it 1400 Ah, phenomenal. <laughs> We're talking about Hermes here. You're getting a whole bag, not just a whole bag, a whole tote bag for 1,470 pounds. But still, I think it's unbelievable. And you get so much bag and such a well thought out bag. I know it's for horses, but you know, who said you can't use things that are made for horses on people, you know, kids are almost the same as horses. You know, you have to look after them. You gotta feed them. You need to brush their hair, brush their teeth. So I mean, horses, children, same thing, just a little bit. <laughs> I can see this being two thousand five hundred. I can't justify spending the two thousand five hundred on the Christian Jewel book tote. You know, I'm all about practicality. I'm all about versatility. There is no point spending tons of money on things that you you can't get the full enjoyment out of. And for me, with any book tote, not just the Christian Dior one, for any tote bag that doesn't have feet on it, I'm gonna be stressing my head off about the fact that if there are no places where I can put my bag down, then I'm, I'm a little bit stuck because it's gonna go on the floor, it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna collect that dirt, I'm gonna take the bag back into my house and oh. <laughs> whether this, you know, if I get tired of carrying it on my shoulder, I could put a crossbody, which is always the most comfortable way to carry a bag, especially if you're running in the middle of an airport trying to catch your flight, which would probably be the case for me because I'm always late to everything. <laughs> As a mum, you know, you've got all these pockets. If your bottle of milk opened in here, you know, you can take that out, put it in the washing, and it's as good as new. Oh, I feel like I'm trying to sell you this bag, but I don't care whether you buy it or not. It's perfect for me. I'm happy with it. I'm so glad I bought it. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you in Wednesday's video. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and a beautiful start to the week. Take care. Bye.